Hello grade twos. Today I am going to teach you how to draw a grain or prairie elevator that we would find in our prairies, especially in Saskatchewan. And we've been learning all about Saskatoon and Saskatchewan. So you're going to need a blank sheet of paper, a marker, or a pencil, and we can get started. So closer to the bottom of the page and off towards more of one side, we are going to draw a straight line going sideways. Okay, so it isn't right in the middle, but it is off to one side. Then we are going to draw three lines going up, one from the corner. We're gonna do one from the other corner. Make sure they stop at the same height there. And then our third line is going to be closer to this line over here. So same thing. Okay. From these two lines here, the one, the two that are closer together, you're going to draw a short diagonal line going inwards for both from both lines so they're a little bit going they're going in both ways but they're not touching at the top do you see that there is a space there at the top okay we're going to continue our ele green elevator going up straight line up straight line up and then you can connect them with a part like with a point like almost like with a triangle good job then we're going to do the other side of the elevator this is more the side facing towards us this is going to be a side kind of facing sideways okay so we're going to come back to the top of our three lines and we're going to connect the middle line to the out others outer line there Okay, from the outer line, we are going to do a diagonal up again in the same direction as the middle line. So they're both going the same direction. And then stopping at the same point where our one diagonal line is on the middle line. And then you can connect those two. Then we're going to do a straight line. and connect the middle line to the outer line. And then one more diagonal and one more line connecting. It's a lot of straight diagonal, straight diagonal and then connecting the lines. All right, that is the hardest part. You are already done the hardest part. So we're gonna go back to the side here, we're gonna draw a little roof, which is just a diagonal line out. Then we're gonna do a straight line down. I'm leaving a little bit of the roof overhanging the line, and I'm not bringing my line down all the way. I'm leaving it almost at the bottom. Then I'm gonna connect it right into my elevator. Here I'm going to draw a door and that can be colored in black. Then I might want to put a window up at the top. Okay, I'm going to put a little window over here. I'm going to put a long thin window at the very top of my elevator. Good job. Okay, so I'm going to draw some of the ground now. So I'm going to just draw a line here, just on the side. I'm going to bring it through, bring it behind my elevator and come out the other side. I'm going to Go from this corner, I'm going to draw a line down to the edge of your paper. 
And then of course we're going to need a bit of a path from the house. So I'm going to go from the corner of the house and I'm going to bring it down to the edge of the page. And then same thing from this green elevator all the way to the edge. The last thing you can you can draw is just a quick little sun, which is just a corner, a di like a curved line right there in the corner. And there you have it. You have a prairie elevator. Now, if you drew in pencil, this is the time to outline or trace everything with your black marker. Then we can start coloring like it is in the picture. So you, there's lots of different things you can do. I'll just do what they're doing in the picture just to show you that how to. For the sky, all we're doing is taking a marker and drawing lines from the building to the outside of the page or right to the sun in this case all the way around pretty easy to color so we're not coloring the whole thing we're leaving some white lots of white spots you can go back and make these lines thicker if that's what you prefer you can add more lines you can do whatever you feel looks great for you Okay, so I personally like the thicker lines, um, but I think that's, again, up to you as an artist. Just going to quickly do that. Of course, you can take your time if... Now we want to use blue for the sky because that is obviously what the sky color is. Um, and then we're going to use this dupe color in our sun. I'm going to color it in fully in yellow. But I'm also going to put a little bit of orange here on the outside. But then the whole rest of my sun can be yellow. And I'm just going to color in the whole thing. So I personally like using markers, but you can use crayons, you can use um, paint, you can use pastels, you can use whatever you have at home. Um, we're going to draw or color in our land. We're gonna, I'm gonna draw this little first part in here, a darker green, kinda in the same way. So um, just some lines, leaving some white lines in there as well. And then I'm gonna do the same thing on here, just like in the picture. But if you wanted to use a different shade of green, you can do so. I wouldn't leave the, um, the white lines super, super big. Um, personally, that's you want lots of color on here, as much color as possible. Um, if you wanted to do maybe a different type of pattern, maybe... Just like in our picture, this lower part's gonna have some more squiggly lines. So I'm gonna do some squiggly lines here in my different green colors. And I'm, oh, my marker's running out, but that's okay. Um, and then I might wanna do it again, maybe on both sides with a lighter green, but still leaving lots of, or not lots of white, but leaving some white spots throughout the whole process there. Maybe you want to make the lines a little bit thicker. That's completely up to you. The gravel road, I'm going to keep it simple again. I'm just going to do brown lines all the way down to the bottom of the page. Um, 
our grain elevators where you can be a little more uh, adventurous with colors if you'd like. And you can do different patterns. So I know looking at theirs on the screen here, dropping colors and everything, but they start with some orange and they just kind of make a zigzag pattern. And then color it in. Um, then they had a pink. You can use whatever shade of pink you'd like or whatever color you're doing. They did, but they left a space, a white space between the orange and the pink. So I just drew my line at the top and then I did the zigzag at the bottom and then I'm coloring in between. They also had did some really fun, like, different types of zigzaggy swirlies. And they did that all the way up to the top. But making they made sure they left space between each layer of color all the way to the top. I'm not going to finish it all, just so you guys can have lots of time. And then, of course, on the little shed or the house over here on the side, they just did some diagonal lines in yellow but i can't wait to see your creativity have fun everyone